Rapid Nation, Saturday. Came across this article, wanted to jump on here real quick and share it with you. Thought it was pretty interesting. Iran seeks to get rid of US dollar dominance via the Iraqi dinar. The Iranian government is seeking to eliminate the dominance of the US dollar. Here's a quote by an, an individual news agency saying, by using the dinar instead of the dollar in trade with Iraq, we are getting rid of the dollar's dominance in imports and exports as planned by the government. So obviously, this is brick nation talk. No surprise coming out of Iran. The real question is, how is Iraq going to respond to this? And it doesn't tell you in this article, but let's uh, let's move on down here and check some things out. Turning to Iran-Iraq relations. So more than 10 billion in goods and services are exchanged annually between the two countries, which if the trade system is implemented with the national currencies of the two countries can contribute to deepening these relations and establishing good trade. Iranian officials pointed to the problems of trade with national currencies of the two countries and said that balance in trade is very important in the new system. If Iraq imports more than Iran and pays all its debts in dinars, problems will appear on other Iranian exchanges because we must be able to meet our needs and receive dinar. Um, they go on, there's some other fluff in here <clears throat> that's not Im too important to, to, to talk about, but there's a 10% difference between the price of the dinar in an open market and bank's dinar. So they're talking, we know about the black market and then what the real official rate needs to be closer to what, you know, 13, 10, 1300 per one USD. Um, they stress that the interaction between Iran and Iraq in the area could be an important measure that we can benefit from most through appropriate follow-up. So it'd be interesting to see how this all unfolds. If it's going to, the question is, I know it's Iran, sanctioned country, embargoes, problems with the United States, could this really benefit and increase the value of the Iraqi dinar just dealing with Iran? Um, I could see this being more of a positive note if it was eventually with Saudi Arabia and other neighboring countries. And will the United States, the World Bank, allow this to happen with, with, with Iraq? Uh, but they are a country that can do what they want. And we already see what the, the BRICS nations are already conjuring up. And it's funny how how far this has come with the BRICS nations. Um, they're possibly going to announce that they're going to be gold back currency within the BRICS. I mean, if that happens, oh my gosh. Um, Really, things are going to unfold in 2023. 2024 is going to be very interesting because how fast this has come. The fact that they want the U.S. dollar dominance to struggle, I think they can achieve that over time. I think it'll be a little messy, like they're explaining in this article, how this is all going to play out overall like you get enough countries on board and wanting to join the BRICS uh, it can be a serious problem but we're talking about the Iraqi dinar here you know and we all want this to end so thanks for being on this video thanks for watching um, thanks for being part of the, the rapid crew have a good weekend stay rapid